damaged full frames on pickup trucks and SUVs require proper anchoring before straightening. Special frame anchoring adapter kits are available from some equipment makers. We talked to Joe Blanton and Bob Warren about anchoring full frame vehicles on car liner equipment. For truck clamping, we have the B730 truck clamping kit. As you can see, we have all the components hanging here on the wall. And as for each truck situation that you have, you can configure the clamping you need for the vehicle you're working on. If you need the information on what components you need, it's called out on the data sheet and also what location to put those clamps in. This system has, has four anchoring points, which allows us to hold and support the truck frame at four different locations. It also has the ability to be loosened at the bases, which will allow us to remove a diamond condition if we have that in the frame. Because today's cab structures are so strong, they're actually like unibody vehicles. And many times we need to hold the cab structure uh, aside from the frame structure. To do that, we're looking at an EVO system which allows us to basically hold the body structure, as we see here with this clamp, by the rocker panel assemblies, or we can also get uh, an F-150 add-on kit, which would allow us to use EVO to directly clamp onto the body mounts themselves. Bob, do you find that you use EVO for additional anchoring when you're doing pulling? Absolutely, it's a necessity. Today's new frames are so hard and tough to pull that we need more anchoring. Anchoring where we're holding is not where the damage is, so I need to hold so I can get a good repair. Making pulls on a cab or body structure without multiple point anchoring in place can cause damage to the body mount areas like we see here. This equipment has many capabilities. However, some vehicle makers may require cab or body assemblies to be removed during collision repair. It's always important to follow vehicle maker recommendations.